In this problem, we want to compare five different uh, equations, five different for, uh, functions, rather. So, well, what does it mean to compare? We could talk about different aspects of each function, slopes and how they rise and where they start and that sort of thing. The best way to probably do all of that is just to graph it. So that's what we've done here. And then whichever thing you're interested in, you can kind of go from there. So we can just go from the top to the bottom, and we can see that a couple of these actually start at the origin and aren't defined before that. Some start a little bit later or up or down in the y and x axes. So they all have these, uh, they're all square roots of some kind, and that's why they're not defined before, uh, and before to the left on the x and down in the y from there. So for those that uh, are some multiple of x square, or root x, these two, they both start at the origin. You can see you can trace these back, and they both start at the origin. Then we have this, root x plus 2. Well, this starts at plus 2 on the y scale, and then goes up in a square root x fashion there, just like the same slope as this one. It's really parallel to this in that sense. Now we have these two, which are a little bit interesting. Let's look at this one. This is y equals square root of the quantity x minus 1. So we trace that back. We see this isn't defined before x equals 1. You can see if you have uh, something less than 1 here, then you get a square root of a negative number. So it's imaginary. It doesn't make sense. So in other words, uh, we need to start at x equals 1, and then you get a value of 0, and then you go up in the normal way from there. Same here. It's a little bit more complicated. Uh, we start up here at 1 because of this plus 1, but we also have to see if this, this is factorized in this way. This isn't defined before x equals 2. So you see if you plug in x equals 2 here, so this is about x equals 2 on this scale, then that's where it starts being defined. Before that, again, a negative number, square root of a negative number is imaginary. doesn't really make sense to graph on the xy uh, graph anyway. So you can see that this isn't even started until this direction and this way, so way away from the origin here. So you can compare, again, the slopes, where they start, and that sort of thing.